Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pop. <laughs> I messed that up. I'm going to keep it, though. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And man, this is a doozy of a story. Uh, who would have thought that liberal Hollywood lesbian Ellen DeGeneres would be the most civil minded person out there on the left coast? But apparently she is because people are losing their minds on Twitter because she was caught yucking it up with George W. Bush. I just. This is insane because she was there smiling because she happened to be seating next to former president George W. Bush and because she was being a polite person and just they were caught a couple times laughing because they're seatmates. Uh, we are now to see that Ellen doesn't know what she's doing and this is atrocious and she should not associate with herself at all with George W. Bush. Guys. She's sitting next to someone. She clearly has box seats at a show where someone invited a bunch of celebrities. They happen to sit next together. He is a former president. She is a big celebrity star. That's how this works. And as Ellen will respond and, and explains later, this was the box seat of the Cowboys manager. The daughter is friends with Ellen and invited her. Uh, and she knew when she showed up that she wouldn't she'd be around people that necessarily don't she doesn't agree with politically. But she decided to go anyway. And good for her. What is she supposed to sit there just and ignore him and give him a shrug the whole time instead of having some sort of who knows what kind of conversations the two of them have had? Maybe there is some sort of resolution that they've worked upon, and maybe George is working on something oh my point is we don't know and for us to judge like twitter goes and does is just is just it's just crazy ellen degeneres out uh is laughing it up with someone who actively tried to harm our community feels disappointing irresponsible and dangerous why are ellen and george uh watching the cowboys packers game has she forgotten about the whole anti-gay marriage war in iraq general incompetence thing uh, this is this is insane. I don't care how nice of a guy George W. Bush is. He was one of the worst presidents and left our country and world in bad shape. The mess he helped create, we're still trying to dig out of. This is a bad look, Ellen. So now, accordingly to this liberal side who just thinks he's the devil, and look, I don't... I'm not going to get into my politics here because I don't want to make this about politics. That's the point. I may not agree with him po politically, but I'm not going to be mean to the guy. I'm not going to sit there and punch him in the face and say, screw you and get, the, I'm not, I can't be near you. We have to try and be accommodating to people with different political beliefs. And sure. I believe George W. Bush did some things that I don't agree with, but that's what every politician does. We can't agree with every politician. We can't agree with everybody on our side. And if you are the type of person who's so extreme that you must have everyone uh, agree with your way of the land pol politically, your left side or your right side, and you can't budge, and if they don't agree with this and they don't understand that you can't be seen with this person, then death to you, that's a problem. That's a seriously big problem. And I say kudos for Ellen for being the better person here and being able to sit next to someone that she clearly probably doesn't politically agree with, but can sort of get to know the person to try and understand the differences. And maybe by doing so, help to try and find common ground to sort of help solve problems that maybe he had done in the past that he might now and later in life realize, you know what, I was, I was wrong on that. There were people who were pushing me to do this thing and I just didn't know better. Who knows what happened? Who really understands it all? That's the problem. So for us to just, vilify Ellen for being there and just happening to having to sit next to the former president and being polite. Uh, that's crazy. This looks like a courtesy laugh to me. This just looks like she's just being nice to the person who she's stuck with and not trying to cause a scene, which could have been even worse from a PR perspective. She doesn't want to cause drama like that. She's a daytime talk show host. She wants to have George W. on her show. She wants to have Obama on her show. She'll eventually want to have Trump on her show. She wants everyone on her show. That's the point of Ellen DeGeneres. And for people now attacking her for being kind, it's just making my head explode. What are we doing? So thankfully, Ellen, uh, she had the proper mindset and she responded. Uh, and she hit this up pretty hard and she showed this clip where she surprised her eye and said look who I was with and her audience is laughing it up because she knows it's kind of funny what the hell would she be doing there with George W. Bush as she explains this sort of story and that was Charlotte Jones Portia was talking to Scarlett Jones is the daughter of the creator of the person who leads the Cowboys when we were invited, uh, I was, you know, I was aware that it, I was going to be surrounded with people from very different views and beliefs. And I'm not talking about politics. I was rooting for the Packers. And uh, get this, everybody in the Cowboys suite was rooting for the Cowboys. And so I had to hide my cheese hat in Porsche's purse. And um, don't get me wrong. I, I, I like the Cowboys. I, I love like the Cowboys. Cowboys. I love Never all the village Cowboys, people, as a sorry. matter of fact. Um, <laughs> Good joke. Eagles. Eagles. Go Eagles. Aaron Rodgers is a friend of mine. He's the quarterback for the Packers. And so I, I'm sitting in the in the Cowboys 
Sweet, the owner of the Cowboys, and secretly cheering every time the Packers scored or every time another whistleblower came forward. And uh, Ooh, the referees, funny. you guys, the referees. Um, <laughs> but during the game, they showed a shot of George and me laughing together. And uh, so people were upset. They thought, why is a gay Hollywood liberal sitting next to a conservative Republican president? Didn't even notice I'm holding the brand new iPhone 11. And, um, it's a good joke. But a lot of people were mad, and they did what people do when they're mad. Mm -hmm. They tweet. And uh, But here's one tweet that I loved. This uh, person says, Ellen and George Bush together makes me have faith in America again. Amen. And, um, Amen. They missed the whole point. Here's the thing. I'm friends with George Bush. In fact, I'm friends with a lot of people who don't share the same beliefs that I have. We're all different, and I think that we've forgotten that that's okay that we're all different. For instance, I wish people wouldn't wear fur. I don't like it, but but I'm friends with people who wear fur. And I, I'm friends with people who are furry, as a matter of fact. I have <laughs> friends who should tweeze more. And I, I have... But just because I don't agree with someone on everything doesn't mean that I'm not going to be friends with them. When I say be kind to one another, I don't mean only the people that think the same way that you do. I mean Preach. be kind to everyone. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Um, I, I, even people who are already playing Christmas music. I mean, seriously. No, screw them. She's There's wrong no there. There's no excuse for that, but I'm kind to them. Anyway, I want to thank Jerry Jones, Charlotte Jones, for hosting us, and thanks President Bush and Laura for a Sunday afternoon that was so fun. By the way, you owe me $6 for the nachos. And... So anyway, kudos to her for telling the story and for handling it with such class because she's so spot on. It's just, what are we doing? And then the comments just kept continuing. It wasn't enough. People just, here's the thing, Ellen. George W. Bush is a war criminal who was responsible for the death of a cataclysmic scale. It's not a matter of being friends with people with different beliefs. We all have those friends. It's about having a little perspective on the damage he's done. For, first of all, Walker. Bragman, who's bragging for more Twitter likes just to try and go against the curb. How do you know what her perspective is? Like, how dare you make it about you and that you're better than her? She's absolutely right on the kind part. And this uh, this aggressive leftism, and it happens on the right too, and I, I'm going to call them out too when I when I see it. But when it this aggressive extreme leftism, it's really dangerous, and it's not good for society. It's not just his effing beliefs; it's his record. This isn't being friends with the Republican parents of your kids' friends. Christ, uh, they, this is just—we're so bent out of shape that we don't even understand like the, the point of by losing our minds and criticizing George W. Bush 15 years later when he's not even what it's over. It's over. We can't ever move on when something we again, we're against politically. And, and look, I don't like what George W. Bush did. I did think he took us into a war with a lot of stuff that was mis miscommunicated. But again, I don't want to get into the politics of it. It doesn't matter. The matter, the point is like, I don't really know what he stands and believes today. I don't know what he really knew during the office. Part of me thinks he was letting everybody else do the show. Uh, so I, who knows what the man thinks? And all I know is you don't be mean to the guy. The guy's clearly there being nice to Ellen, who is gay and she he didn't believe in a certain thing and the only way ellen and gay rights and all those things are going to happen is if you're polite to the people who disagree if you're polite and you educate them and you talk to them and you take the time to sort of talk to explain why you don't agree and why it's problematic for you and try to find that common ground and see if he can learn something or the other person can learn something the left or the right that's where change actually happens that's where real change happens where people can actually move forward because you're never going to get it the full way the left wants and you're never going to get the full way the right ones and that doesn't mean i'm wavering sitting on the fence in the middle it means in this instance i believe ellen is absolutely on board with the fact that yeah of course i'm going to be civil to george w bush why wouldn't you be like i don't know the man now if the man's you know doing something awful to me or my family or <laughs> doing something behind the scenes and i'm then of course i'm going to call it out but what is as of recently, why should Ellen hold any contempt to him any longer? We have to move forward. If she wants to push for gay rights, which is now happening more better than ever, uh, even against what he tried to do 15 years ago, there is a lot more that we've we've excelled in that area. It just proves the fact that you don't have to vilify him and make him the, the devil and, and ignore him in a game and say, I can't sit here. I need new seats. Then Ellen looks like the jerk. Be the better person always, 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 always. 
be kind and be the better person. That's just how you should do it. Of course she should have been nice there. And so I applaud her for not only being nice and taking that seat and being and humoring him. And maybe she was faking the whole time. Maybe she's sitting there like, oh God, I hate this guy. But she's just being polite to his face because she knows she's a public figure who wants to interview celebrities and that's her persona. And that's the kind of persona I want her to have. Because if she's going to do a daytime talk, she needs to be able to handle conversations with the left and the right and not let her politics get in the way. And everybody who's forcing their politics down her throat saying, how dare you? How dare you? Get off of Twitter and get outside and stop worrying about the politics and start worrying about your own life. How about that? That's where I stand on my rant, how to get off of this. What do you guys get get off of this topic? What do you guys think? Uh, Tell me down in the comments below what your thoughts are. Hit me up on social media as well. I'd love to hear your take. Uh, Do you feel like uh, you see the the other side of this? Should Ellen, if she really is against these political beliefs, be able to say, you know what? No, I'm not going to sit next to her. At the same time, what are Ellen's political beliefs? Sure, she's for gay marriage, but is she actually always liberal and everything? How are we supposed to know? And why should it be any of our business? That's the real question here. So get off Twitter and get off your high horses and stop bugging everybody this is ridiculous Uh, i like this story because i'm proud of her for standing up for it she did it with kevin hart too good for her for standing up for him when a lot of people didn't uh and i think you know there's there's a criticism that could be made that oh of course the hollywood you know people who can't lose anything they'll just help each other and get through it they don't really understand the little things but i don't i don't know i think in this instance ellen's doing the right thing by by showing kindness, by not trying to use her platform to kick George W. Bush, but instead to sort of say, look, I don't agree with his politics, but that doesn't mean I'm going to shun him. Uh, and that's how we should be as a society. That's what I think. So thank you for watching. Thanks for hearing me out. Uh, tell me what you think again on Twitter or on the comments down below, and I'll be back with more videos soon, including a review of Gemini Man, Will Smith as twins. So stay tuned. Bye.